Okay, so in terms of performing the technique, uh, we're based, it's based on a sort of four-point exam around the abdomen. What we're going to do is start cranially on the midline, just called to the xiphoid process, uh, the so-called diaphragmatico-hepatic view. Then we're going to move in a clockwise direction, so we'll scan there first. We're then going to move up to the, the left flank, basically, uh, or otherwise known as the splenorenal view. Then we're going to come cordially back to the midline again over the bladder, um, the, the um, sister colic view. And then finally we're going to come uh, to look at what will effectively be the right flank. We're actually going to position the probe just right of the midline um, at the level of the umbilicus. Um, it saves us having to turn the dog over to, to get that right view, so we're, we're just sort of tucking slightly under, uh, under the dog on the right hand side. So it's that clockwise uh, path from uh, cranial midline. We take our spirit, and all we're going to do is just soak the first area, so just call to the xiphoid process, and that's all we need to do. You can add some gel there as well if you're struggling, but uh, in most cases, parting the hair and that spirit will be enough. And we're going to put our probe in contact with the, uh, with the skin, just call, immediately call to the xiphoid process. And we want to be in longitudinal sections, so we've got uh, the marker pointing cranially, and that therefore has cranial on, cranial on the left of the screen. And we're just going to push in firmly behind the xiphoid, angling slightly cranially, so we're looking towards the head, um, and also with the, the probe held, held pretty much horizontally. And then all we're going to do is fan down towards the table, so we're lifting the wire end of the probe up, and that brings the gallbladder into view, and then we're going to keep going in that direction all the way through the liver out to the right hand side, then repeat the process back through the centre line and come up through the uh, left side of the body as well. And all the while, what we're looking for is uh, fluid between the diaphragm and the liver, the individual lobes of the liver, and then between the liver and the falciform fat, which will be on the top of the screen, uh, so ventral to the, to the liver. And that fluid is just going to look black, so it's anechoic, and typically it will form roughly triangular structures uh, that, that will tend to highlight the outlines of the, of the liver. Uh, any fluid spotted counts as a positive. Uh, False positives can be, be picked out by looking at or by, by seeing a gallbladder. Sometimes the gallbladder can look a slightly odd shape. Uh, if you just trace that gallbladder, you can follow it into the, uh, into the bile duct um, and, and verify that that is in fact the gallbladder. We can also find that the hepatic veins uh, and portal veins can look like fluid as well. Again, typically you can trace those uh, as, they, as they drain into, into uh, the greater vessels. <coughs> and also if you rotate the probe into transverse section you will usually go from having them uh, either as round circles in transverse section to, to long parallel sided structures or vice versa. The other thing that's worth noting from this view is that if you look uh, cranially beyond the liver uh, and beyond the diaphragm, the line of the diaphragm, uh, you can have a peek and just check for either pericardial or pleural effusion. That was often uh, picked up on this view as well so it's worth having a look beyond the liver. After that, we're going to then move on to the next view, so the left flank or spleno-renal view.